What's up, everyone? Mark Lobiner, TigerFitness.com. We've been talking a lot about GoBHB, but we haven't done a video yet on how to take it like a standard FAQ, frequently asked questions. I was just talking to my good friend Mike Cernovich today, and obviously he is in love with the ingredient. Absolutely. He, he can't live without it. And that's the thing about this technology. It's not even an ingredient. It is a technology. I don't want to just put it in that basket of ingredients. This is the most significant health technology in this century. And I will say that absolutely unreal what this thing does. We've talked about everything from concussion mitigation. We've talked about everything from cognitive benefits, data to back a lot of this up, if not all of it up. We've talked about the fat loss benefits, talked about the liver, kidney, and heart health benefits. So many things. This will be a almost all-encompassing FAQ on how and when to take GoBHB. This is it. What is GoBHB? Now, we haven't really gone over this. It is beta-hydroxybutyrate. Now, it's a naturally occurring ketone in the human body, and normally you have to be fasting or carbohydrate restricted, maybe some intense exercise to get your body to produce ketones. But if you're not in any of those states, this gives your body those ketones without the need for that. So you have dual source energy. You have dual fuel from glucose and from the BHB. So it is a direct non-stimulant energy source that can be used by the brain, heart, muscles. It's a heat-seeking missile. It goes to where your body needs it. It is cellular energy. Where you look at, let's say, an energy drink. That is stimulant energy. This actually powers your mitochondria, powers your cells, provides your body with direct ATP. So let's look at some of what it does. Sustained physical energy, mental clarity and focus, metabolic efficiency, appetite control. Yes, it can help people. So if you're on a GLP-1, help support that. I forgot about muscle preservation. Just had that study come out a month ago. Performance during low-carb or calorie-restricted states. It enhances your ketones or it gives your body ketones in addition to glucose. No crash, jitters, no sleep disruption. If you're training in the PM, it is the perfect 35 plus percent of people train in the PM. 35 plus percent train after 5 PM. Period. I mean, just go to the gym at 5, 5 to 7 PM. Let me know I'm wrong. And this will not disrupt your sleep like a stimulant will. Normally, I have to choose between a good workout and a good night's sleep. You can have both here. So when do you take BHP? Let's say you don't train in the morning. You could take it with caffeine. You have stimulant and cellular energy or use it to replace your caffeine to start your day with clean energy. Pre-workout, there's a ton of applications um, to help with training performance, endurance. You can take it midday. Avoid being tired. Stop being tired. It gets rid of those energy crashes, helps power you through the day. Even that afternoon slump between meals or while you're fasting, I actually created a formula for fasting with BHB in it before, supports energy and appetite control and anytime you need focus. Now, how do you take BHB? Let's go into dosing first. So in applications, let's say pre-workout, I'd say the sweet spot is around four to five to 10 grams. So let's say five to 10 grams. Right now you get that in multiple forms. I'll go over those in a second. But what I normally do is I take a scoop of go BHB. I use the powder form, either MTS nutrition or clean form nutrition. So I'll do one to two scoops pre-workout. I'll do a scoop in my intra workout drink. I usually take something called Ambrosia Hydroglyph. And then I'll take it throughout the day mixed in my cup. Like literally I'll put a scoop of this, put a scoop of let's say Hydroglyph or something like that. I also have some Rev7, which is an RTD energy drink, which has five grams of BHD B in it. I like to see 10 to 20 grams total a day. I go 30 or more sometimes, but 10 to 20 grams is that sweet spot. But in an acute application, five grams is fine. But again, like I like to see 10 to 20 grams a day. That gets you all of the studied benefits that we're talking about from heart health to kidney health to energy to cognition, whatever it is. So there are several forms. Um, here's one. This is correct fuel. It is a stick pack hydration form. You can take it in stick packs. Here's one. 
It comes in RTDs, Rev7. There's also one called Reaction Energy. Drinkreaction.com has it. And you have it in bulk powder. It's going to be found in a lot of other things, pre-workout formulas, intra-workout formulas. There's a lot of new formulas coming to the market with it in it. So it comes in capsules. The problem with capsules for me, it's not enough. I mean, you need four capsules at least to get two grams. I'd rather just take a scoop. It's flavored. Flavor is neutral. Not a problem with that. So should you take it on an empty stomach or with food? So it doesn't matter. So if you're empty stomach, faster absorption because you don't have food in there with it. And that way you'll get more noticeable effects. You'll start noticing cognition. Might feel a little like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Um, with food, gentler digestion. So if you're sensitive to minerals or you have any, any IBS issues, you can take it with food. It'll still work. It just won't hit as fast. So can you take it with carbs? Unfortunately, in the 2015 to 2020 range, the ketogenic diet was going crazy and ketones were flying off the shelf. BHB was flying, but unfortunately it pigeonholed it in. So people thought it was only for the keto diet. That is the, it's a great application, right? But it's not the most beneficial application because dual fuel is where it's at. And the health benefits are where it's at. So ketones, yeah, it will enhance a keto diet, but that's that's the tip of the iceberg, man. That is such a non, it doesn't even excite me. So with carbs, you got that dual fuel um, energy alongside glucose, and then go BHB will help enhance your ketones, supplying more energy when your carbs are low. So you do not have to be on a keto or low carb diet to benefit from go BHB. I would say you'll benefit from it more when it is in a carb inclusive diet, which is normally what I recommend, except for very small segments of the population. So the bottom line is um, athletes, sedentary folk, anybody can use this. And there's safety data in both children and adults. Yes, there is no like, if you look at an energy drink, I got one right here. Look at a, uh, I keep a lot of products on my desk. Look at a ghost, right? Have to be 18 years or older to drink it. That's because there's caffeine. Um, Rev7, any BHB product, that won't be on there. You want to know why? Because there's safety data in children and in adults. So anyone can drink this from youth to the elderly and everyone in between. Does so go BHB an energy drink? It can be, but it provides actual energy. There are no energy drinks on the market other than the two I just stated. And I think there, there's Wise Water. There's a few right? There's like three or four. But if you go into a 7-Eleven, you're looking at energy drinks. Those aren't energy drinks. Those are stimulant drinks. So this provides cellular energy, not just stimulation. So you don't have the crash. Just uh, was talking about this this morning. Like when you take caffeine, it's a bump and a, a, a spike and a crash or a bump and a crash. When you take BHB, it literally does this and then does this again. So the energy curve is crazy. It, it is it is amazing and there's no crash, none at all, because you're not stimulating, you're simply energizing your mitochondria. Um, Go BHB in and of itself does not contain caffeine or sugar, no crash. If you do like caffeine, which I do, if you stack it with caffeine, you're getting both the stimulant energy and the cellular energy. It is the best of both worlds. And when that stimulant energy wears off, you won't get a crash. It'll just carry you through. So you'll still have that cellular energy. So it mitigates all the downsides with the crash from caffeine. Now you might still get a little, it might not be as intense when the caffeine was active, but let me just tell you, if you combine this with caffeine, man, it's very synergistic. Can you use this long term? Do you have to cycle it? Absolutely not. It is naturally occurring. It is produced by the human body. It's how your body develops. So the longer you use it, the better, the more your body has a chance to heal and do magical things, cellular energy, metabolic health, inflammatory balance. It's the thing. It also helps with the inflammation. There, are, there is data on go BHB and weight loss and muscle preservation while dieting. I've done videos on these studies before. Um, and here's the benefit. Helps all that. It provides energy during caloric restriction. It supports appetite control. And it preserves your training performance because it's giving you that cellular energy. So it is not a stimulant fat burner in that sense. It is an energy producing weight loss aid. 
if that makes sense. Um, athletes, every athlete who has a chance of getting bonked on the head should be taking BHB before events, before practices. My sons are in wrestling season now. Before every session, they have five to 10 grams of go BHB. And if they happen to take a fall on their head, let's say a bad scramble, a bad slam, or let's say they butted heads on a shot, they are definitely taking go BHB after that. Now, when you do have a concussion like symptom, let's say you do take a bump, you know, what I will do again, talk to your doctor. What I will recommend people do is have a bolus for four days after the contact, um, 20 or so grams, even more for four days. And I had a kid, my kid was playing football and he had a, he was in practice. They had a drill, went up against my kid. It's bound to happen. My kid gave him a concussion. His mom calls. What should I do? I said, take this, go BHB. And in three days he passed protocol which is unheard. I've never passed. I, I never, when I played football, we didn't have protocol. It was like, can you see straight? No. Can you see it all? Yeah. Okay. You're staying in the game. See at practice Monday. So that was pretty much the nineties in, in a nutshell. Um, so there's two things. For example, in the rev seven, you got go BHB acids, right? It's all BHB. It's just BHB. There's no electrolyte attached to it. And then you got the salts. And the difference in those is one, just use the salt as a carrier. What salt it's on doesn't matter. The BHB is all that matters. As soon as it goes into solution, they separate. It's basically a carrier as, a, as the BHB is placed into a powder. So um, again, it can be salt bounded to sodium, calcium, magnesium, or potassium. Um, and then there's the acids. One used in drink applications. One is used in powder applications. And... Um, that's pretty much, unless, unless I miss something, comment down below. I'll do a follow-up video. But that's the rundown. Everyone should take BHB. Again, from youth to elderly to everyone in between. Um, you really notice how much BHB does if, let's say, you're traveling and you forget it. And then you're like, why do I feel like crap? Why, why do? It's because you're so used to feeling good. I'll tell you what, this will change your life. Anyway, brands I recommend. Clean Form Nutrition, Go BHB. MTS Nutrition, Go BHB. Rev7 is the RTD. Um, you got stick packs like Crack Fuel. Another one called Godspeed, which is awesome. Again, a lot of options. This will be bigger than creatine. You can bookmark this video. It will be bigger than creatine because two things creatine doesn't do that Go BHB does. Number one is creatine does not provide your body with ATP directly. Go BHB does that. Another thing is you can't feel creatine. The BHB and how it works, you can feel creatine. So anyway, guys, one last thing. Um, any supplement needs you have, go to tigerfitness.com. That's tigerfitness.com. Coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, MAHA. Get you 10% off your entire order at tigerfitness.com. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell. Comment down below if I missed anything or if you want me to expand on this further. But I really appreciate it. But I will just leave you with this having the greatest technology in the world for health. I mean, goodness, created in the past few years in the palm of your hands. Affordable too. It's not just amazing. It's not a game.